All right, this is unit four modeling. This is day uh, seven nonlinear system. So we saw uh, on the previous day, day six, where you could actually use substitution. These will be cases where you really probably want to use uh, elimination. While substitution could be used, it's a lot easier to use the elimination on these. Uh, for instance, on this one, uh, right now the X's will actually eliminate if I add these two together. Um, if you like to, you could actually go ahead and rewrite them out here to the side. Oh, forgot the square on the X. So I rewrote the first one. And if I rewrite the second one, I'd actually put it as negative X squared plus Y squared equals 27. And it, now if I add those together, it's already set up for elimination. That X squared minus X squared cancels. I get 2Y squared is equal to 45 plus 27 is 72. All right, now uh, to solve for y, I will divide both sides by 2. So y squared is equal to 36. And now I'll plus or minus the square root. So y is equal to positive 6 or y is equal to negative 6. And I'm going to write that separately. I'm actually going to have a few different answers here. Now we've got to go back, plug that in, see what happens for my x value. I'm going to use this first equation right here. I'm going to start with the purple one. Um, so if I plug in that y is equal to 6, so x squared plus y squared equals 45. I'll have x squared plus 36 is equal to 45. Subtract the 36 from both sides, I get x squared equal to 9. So x is equal to positive or negative 3. And what this means is this coordinate of y equals 6, that resulted in two different answers for x. This represents two different points, that 3, 6 is a coordinate, x equals 3, y equals 6, but also x equaled negative 3 when y equaled 6. So negative 3, 6 is a coordinate. Now I'm going to do the same process with the blue. Um, plug again that to the same exact equation, x squared plus negative 6 squared equals 45. This is actually going to solve out the same, but it's good to show you the work that goes behind it in case it doesn't. So subtract the 36 from both sides and plus or minus the root, positive or negative 3. So again, another two points here, so x equals 3, y equals negative 6. Also, x equals negative 3, y equals negative 6. And you would want to actually go through the work to find these answers. So in this case, two quadratics resulted in four solutions. Not always the case. You could even have no solutions sometimes. All right, here's another example. On this one, what I would do is actually multiply maybe this first one by negative 1 and take it away from the... Uh, second one. So I'm going to do that really quick. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by negative 1 and rewrite it as negative x squared minus y squared equals negative 8. And now I'll add that with the second given equation. So x squared minus x squared cancels. Um, here we're going to get 3y squared minus y squared is 2y squared is equal to 10 plus negative 8 is 2. Divide both sides by 2 and I get y squared equal 1, so y is equal to positive or negative 1. And again, I'm going to actually uh, write that out as two separate answers, y equals 1. And over here I'm going to put or y equals negative 1. And now I'm going to see what that gives me whenever I plug it back in. I think the easiest one to plug that into is the very first equation, x squared plus y squared equals 8. So x squared plus y squared equals 8. Uh, x squared plus 1 equals 8. Just squared the 1 there. Subtract the 1 over. So I get x squared equals 7. x is equal to positive or negative root 7. And that's irrational. That's fine though. So here's two of my coordinates. x equals positive root 7 comma 1. So root 7, 1. And the other one is negative root 7, y equals 1. Now I need to go over here to the blue one and actually figure out what x equals in those cases. So x squared plus y squared equals 8. And I have x squared plus, again, this is actually going to come out to the same answer here, but don't assume that um, because sometimes it does not. 
So actually go through the work to see if it does or does not. So here, x equals positive root 7, comma, negative 1. And negative root 7, uh, negative 1. And those are four different points, and we've got our four answers right there. Uh, if you've got any questions on this, I know it's kind of intense, please let me know. Take a look over the homework. The homework will you do substitution and elimination as being the easier method. My advice is with, um, with when you've got a linear, use substitution. If you've got both quadratic, use elimination is my advice. All right, it's bonus time. Actually, I forgot about this example. This is actually the one I showed as example two in class, um, if you were there. But anyways, what's going on with this one is the only difference is, is that the y is not being squared on the second one, but it's still two quadratics. And I can actually get these to cancel if I multiply the uh, second one by negative one. Uh, yet again, or the first one by negative one, whichever you prefer. So that'll become a negative x squared minus 3y equals negative 10 and the first one is still going to be x squared plus y squared equals 8 and when I add those two equations together I'll now have the x squareds cancel and I'll have y squared minus 3y because those two cannot combine and that's what I'm left with equals negative 2 um, so now what I would do is actually solve by factoring personally, um, is how I would go about this one. Uh, S2 and y minus 1 is how this factors, excuse me on that. So when I do that, I'm going to get now my correct answers for this, and I uh, get that y equals 2 is one of my answers, y equals 1 is the other. Now I'm ready to actually move forward and uh, get my answers for x uh, using these. All right, so starting with the uh, y equals 2. So x squared plus 3y equals 10. I can actually get my answer for y now. x squared plus 6 equals 10. And so x squared will equal now 4 when I subtract the 6 away. And I can actually plus or minus the root there. So plus or minus 2 when I square root 4. Um, so that makes my coordinates here, 2, 2, positive 2 for x, 2 for y, also negative 2 for x, and still positive 2 for y. Those are two of my answers. I can also get another two answers from the y equals 1. So using that same equation, x squared plus 3 times 1 equals 10. Um, so x squared plus 3 equals 10. And this is going to look similar to what we saw in example 2. Um, that will plus or minus the root of 7. And that's irrational. And now what my two coordinates are positive root 7, 1, from the y value of 1 over here. Also, you have negative root 7, 1. And there's my other two coordinates.